Good morning, Pre-K. We're back with Wilbur, and we are almost through. We are racing towards the end of Charlotte's Web. And when we come back, you will get a special prize. I may not make you wait. I may show it to you when we finish the book, okay? And then you'll have something to look forward to. So, yesterday we did not finish the chapter, but we had found out that Uncle had gotten a blue ribbon. And then everybody got very upset because they wanted Wilbur to win first prize. And people were crying and worrying about things. And Mr. Zuckerman said, no way. Let's give Wilbur a bath and make him beautiful. So out came the buttermilk. And while they were giving him a bath, there was an announcement that said Mr. Zuckerman should bring his famous pig to the judge's booth. So let's find out what happens. Let's see, here we are. Overhead, up inside Sh Wilbur's pen, Charlotte crouched unseen. Her front legs were encircling her egg sac. Her heart was not beating as strongly as usual, and she felt very weary and old, but she was sure at last that she'd saved Wilbur's life. And she felt peaceful and contented. We have no time to lose, shouted Mr. Zuckerman. Lurie, help get that crate out. Can I have some money, asked Fern? You wait, said Mrs. Arable. Can't you see everybody's busy? Put that empty buttermilk jar in the truck commanded Mr. Arable, and Avery grabbed the jar and rushed to the truck. Does my hair look all right, asked Mrs. Zuckerman. Looks fine, snapped Mr. Zuckerman, as he and Lurvy set the crate down in front of Wilbur. You didn't even look at my hair, said Mrs. Zuckerman. You're all right, Edith, said Mrs. Arable. Just keep calm. Templeton, asleep in the straw, heard the commotion and woke. He didn't know exactly what was going on, but when he saw the men shoving Wilbur into the crate, he made up his mind to go along. And he watched for his chance, and when no one was looking, he crept into the crate and buried himself in the straw at the bottom. All ready, boys, cried Mr. Zuckerman, let's go. And he and Mr. Arable and Lurvy and Avery grabbed the crate, boosted it up over the side of the pen and into the truck. Fern jumped aboard and sat on top of Wilbur's crate. She still had straw in her hair but looked very pretty and excited. And Mr. Arable started the motor, everyone climbed in and off they drove to the judge's booth in front of the grandstand. And here is a photo of how excited everybody got, not a photo, excuse me, an illustration, when they said that Wilbur was gonna get some kind of prize. Everybody's hugging everybody. Avery's doing a handstand big big times so that's the end of that chapter and we will start um, you know what i'm just going to say this we'll just make it really short today tomorrow the hour of triumph mm -hmm. we'll read the whole chapter and it's wonderful for wilbur it also has some funny things in it and i think you'll like it it's a good chapter so Wilbur and I will see you tomorrow for the Hour of Triumph. Have a good day.